Hey church, my name is Mia and I'm part of the Manchester Central Campus. We're continuing the Own It series this week with a new topic called Own Your Thinking. Yesterday we looked at the truth that as we trust God, know that he loves us and that his ways are higher than ours, we can dream again. Today in Owning Our Thinking, we are looking at finding a way. Someone once said, if it matters, you'll find a way. If it doesn't, you'll find an excuse. Many of us want to live a larger life for God, but have been held captive in the prison of excuses. Like, I've not been a Christian long enough. I'm not old enough. I'm too old. I don't have time, money, ideas, health, ability, and so on. David had every excuse not to go up against Goliath. But in 1 Samuel 17, 32 to 33, we can see, David said to Saul, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Saul replied, you are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man and he has been a warrior from his youth. Where everyone was looking for excuses, David found a way. 1 Samuel 17, 40 says, then he took his staff in his hand, chose five smooth stones from the stream, put them in the pouch of his shepherd's bag and with his sling in his hand, approached the Philistine. David moved from making excuses to finding a way with one stone in a slingshot, he took down the nine foot tall giant Goliath and won the war. David owned his thinking. How many dreams have been sacrificed on the altar of making excuses? Where have you replaced the large thinking of solutions with the small thinking of excuses? Has God asked you to do something but you've excused yourself because of your thinking? You've reasoned your way out of it and not done the things that you've been asked to do, or maybe even have lived out your dreams. Your mind is a powerful thing, and it can either be a tool that works for you or against you. Let's own our thinking then and begin to find a way. Audacious Church, it's time to own your thinking.